In this video, I'm gonna be talking about SEO in 2019 from an affiliate marketing perspective. I've got five essential top level SEO tactics that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. So if you're struggling to get traffic from the search engines like Google, this video is for you. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking on the button below. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. It tends to be every single week. So let's talk about SEO. Now, a lot of people think that SEO is some sort of rocket surgery and you need to kind of do a load of tricks and weird other mystical things in order to get your site ranking well on Google. Well, that's not actually the case. It's actually pretty straightforward, really. Although I will warn you, SEO does require some work, quite a bit of work to be fair. And it also requires a bit of patience. Uh, and that's the one thing I, I get from a lot of you guys and a lot of uh, my viewers is they do some stuff on their site and then they expect the results to happen quite quickly. And I'm afraid to say that it's a bit of a, a long game when it comes to SEO and, and patience is gonna be a big part of that. So if you're fine with doing some work and you've got a bit of patience, then there's no reason why you can't get your site ranking well on the search engine. So I'm gonna share with you my five top level SEO tactics for affiliate marketeers. Let's go. First thing when it comes to SEO, probably one of the most important things, if I'm honest, and that is creating good, unique content. You knew I was gonna say that first, didn't you? It really does all come down to content. And it can't just be any old boring, blah, blah, blah sort of content. It really needs to be something a bit special. A good piece of content is gonna take a little bit of time to put together. It might be a really well-written article, it might be something like a video or an infographic, something that really adds lots of value and stands out from the crowd and helps your visitors out and attracts other people to link to it and share it. Now, a lot of people say, but I can't come up with any ideas for content. What am I gonna possibly produce? Well, here's a few ideas on how you can get some ideas for content. One of my favorite ways is just to head over to Google and start doing a few searches. By just looking at the Google Auto Suggest feature, you'll quickly get some ideas for some content. And if you like, you can add an extra plugin to Google Chrome like Keywords Everywhere to give you even more ideas. Start making a list of ideas for content. Then you're gonna to wanna to run those keywords through Google just to get an idea of the competition that's coming up for those searches. After you've done this a few times, you'll start to get a feel as to whether a keyword is gonna be a good one or not. And just by scanning through the search results pages, you'll be able to see if there's an opportunity, if there's a gap basically in the information market, let's call it that, I've just come up with that phrase, where there's people searching for information, but there isn't actually that much information out on the web that's serving their needs. And, and that's obviously where you come in with your bit of content, you fill that need, and Google should be able to recognize that, and you'll rank well and you'll start to get some of that traffic. Another idea when it comes to creating content is newsjacking. Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. That's basically keeping an eye on the news and looking out for stories that are around your niche or related to your niche in some way and then creating content around that particular story. It might be commenting on it, it might be giving your thoughts, your perspective on a particular item and that way you can ride on the back of a trending news story and get traffic that way. Now, not everyone is a writer, of course, and not everyone's a videographer, but you are gonna have to push yourself a little bit and just at least try to put some good content together, whether it be with a camera or with a keyboard. Once you've done it a few times and you've created some good content yourself, you'll then be in a position where you can clearly brief writers or videographers or anyone else really, a virtual assistant, to be able to create the content for you. But as I say, I would recommend that you do it yourself a few times, else if you just go to writers and just say, you know, create me some articles around X, Y, Z, you're gonna get a mixed result. Uh, I'm talking from experience here. 
writers and, and generally subcontractors, they work best with a very clear brief and a clear plan. So yeah, do it yourself and then you'll be able to create a template that you can use to hire people to do it for you. My number two top level tip on SEO is to audit and optimize your content and your website. So once you've started adding your content to your site, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's fully optimized and as friendly as it possibly can be for the search engines. Now I've done some videos on this in the past. Uh, my number one recommendation in terms of a plugin for WordPress is Yoast SEO. You can pretty much do everything you need when it comes to SEO with that plugin. Here's a few points on that that you're gonna to wanna to consider. The first, and probably one of the most important things, is to submit an XML sitemap to the Google Webmaster Console. Now I've been through this a number of times before in previous videos, but it's basically a case of installing the Yoast SEO plugin, setting up the SEO sitemaps so that it includes the content that you wanna share with the world and with Google, and then going over to Google Webmaster Console and submitting that sitemap so that Google knows exactly the layout of your site, how often you update things, and exactly what you want it to crawl. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your site and have a look at your internal linking structure. This again is very important. So that's how you link between your articles and between your categories and your pages. One way to do this automatically is to add something like a related post plugin. That will add some nice links to the bottom of all your posts to other relevant posts automatically. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you optimize your title tags, your meta description, and your URL structure. And again, Yoast SEO will help you with this. All you need to do is set your focus keyword, and then Yoast will give you recommendations on all of those things. There's actually quite a few different things that you need to consider when it comes to optimizing and auditing your website and your content. You'll find more of them over on wpeagle.com because I've created a full post, an article around this video, and on there you'll find loads more tips in terms of doing the auditing and the optimization. So you'll find a link to it in the description. Do go check it out. My third tip when it comes to doing SEO in 2019 is still around content and it's to do with that old content that's been up there a little while and has been a little bit forgotten about, got a bit dusty. You wanna go back to that content and freshen it up. Google likes to serve relevant recent content, and the keyword there being recent. You do a search for something like, you know, best trainers for road running, you'll see that a lot of results are recent. There's nothing really there from 2017. They're all dated 2018. So if you've got some old content, there's a good chance that it's not ranking as well as it might have been. So go back through it, update it, freshen it up, add some new products if need be, update the links, update the copy, and you'll find it's actually a lot easier to do this rather than creating new articles from scratch all the time. Your visitors will appreciate having up-to-date content and Google will reward you. It knows when you've made changes to these posts and it will reflect that in the search results. With WordPress, it's really easy to change the date of a post, so I'd recommend you do that as well after you've updated it. Set it to a more recent date and then it will appear higher within your category pages on your home pages, recent posts areas, that kind of thing. My next tip is to build links. Ah, everyone thinks, oh, I hate link building. How do you build links? Well, let me just share a few thoughts on link building with you. Building links basically comes back to point number one, which if you remember was creating high quality content. If you're doing that, then you're at least three quarters of the way there when it comes to building links. What you wanna keep in mind when thinking about your website is eat. You need to eat. Yeah, what am I talking about? Well, let me explain. Eat stands for expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. And if you're covering those three things with your content, with your site, you will naturally start to attract some links to your site. Now, of course, you can implement mechanisms to accelerate this process. For example, reaching out to other sites that complement your site, maybe they're within your niche or maybe they're in a complementary niche. Reaching out to those guys and giving them some of your high quality content or trying to encourage them to share what you've got. Of course, if you are reaching out to these guys, 
That is where you're gonna need the high quality content because people are not gonna to link to spammy old rubbish content. You really need something that does stand out, that catches their eyes, and that's gonna make them think, wow, that's good, I want that on my site. There are other techniques you can use to increase the speed that you build links. For example, you can visit some question and answer sites like Quora or Yahoo Answers and offer some value to the guys over there by answering questions. Of course, don't add a link on every single answer, otherwise you will get flagged as a bit of a spammer. Just add value, and if the opportunity comes up to share one of your articles, then by all means do so. But as I say, don't do it on every single answer, and you really wanna keep that eat in mind by offering that expertise, that authority, and that trustworthiness, and doing it in a way that really does provide value to these sites. You can do a similar thing over on forums and on social media within groups, uh, but again, you do wanna make sure that you're adding some real good value and you're not coming across as a bit spammy and just trying to you know, post links everywhere. Build people's trust, share some really good stuff, and then you'll find you get some great opportunities to build some links. What you don't wanna be doing when it comes to building links is buying links or doing kind of a link exchange, a link for a link. That's not gonna work. You don't really wanna be getting links from sites that are not relevant, so sites that are completely unrelated to yours those links aren't gonna do you any favors at all. So in conclusion, when it comes to building links, it really does come back to the high quality content that you're gonna be putting on your website. Get that bit right, and the link building should follow pretty easily. My final tip, and this one might seem like a bit of a weird one to affiliate marketers, and that is build a brand. Now you might be thinking, but brands, that's for like proper companies and things like that. Well, actually, there's a lot of affiliate marketing sites out there nowadays, and you really wanna stand out from those guys and, and separate yourself from the rest as something a bit different. So as an affiliate marketeer, building your brand is gonna come down to your content ultimately. So what I mean by that is it's gonna be the tone of the content, how you identify yourself in the content, whether it's funny, how well written it is, all these things are gonna make you stand out and kind of build people's idea of what you are all about. Of course, the look and feel of your website is also a factor when it comes to building your brand. So you might wanna invest in a nice logo. You're gonna to wanna to use a high quality theme on your WordPress site so that it all looks nice and is laid out clearly. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your website doesn't look too spammy. So you know, don't plaster it with AdSense ads and pop-ups and all that kind of stuff because, you know, that just makes the whole site look unprofessional. If you're gonna be adding ads to your site, make sure it's done subtly and in keeping with the style of the site. You may also wanna consider social media platforms as a way of building a brand. Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, they're all good for this. Again, it's gonna come back to sharing useful quality. Well, when I say quality, I mean high quality content that stands out from the rest and really delivers some good value. So that brings us to the end of this video. Let me just summarize the five points that we've been through today. The first and the most important and the one that the other four points all feed off of is create fantastic, unique, interesting, exciting, engaging, high quality content. Your SEO success really does depend on this. You get this bit right, you're halfway there to getting your site ranking well on the search engine. Number two was the on-page stuff, so that's auditing and optimizing the content that you've got on your site. You can use plugins like Yoast SEO to do this quickly and easily. Number three was to go back through some of that old content and freshen it up. Number four was to build links, but as I said, if you get point number one right, you'll find that the link building should come easy. Number five was to build your brand through your high quality content and your professional looking website. So I hope you found that useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the state of SEO in 2019. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments I receive and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle that should be on this video somewhere now. Just give it a click and you can subscribe. Do check out my other channel. You can do that by clicking on my face. And here is a couple more videos chosen especially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.